This Florida cooking segment brought to you by the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. Chef, no you didn't. I see citrus and I see grouper. Oh yes I did. We got Florida citrus and red grouper coming up next. His eye just moved there. I don't think he likes this dish. Chef Justin, seafood workhorse, the grouper. Where would we be in Florida without the grouper? How do we get started? Let's do it. Okay, well the first thing, we got our medium hot pan here, and I got my nice little filet of grouper, a little salt and pepper, simple as that. Sea salt going on, a little bit of pepper going on, olive oil going in the pan, filet of fish going in. And you can tell that fish looks fresh. Look at how, you can, how clear it is. It looks like a really, it's a really nice piece of fish right there. Absolutely. All right, so we're gonna make our citrus and fennel salad using all this wonderful fresh citrus that we have. All right, I got my fennel bulb here. What is a fennel bulb? I'm gonna what trim it off. Mmm, it kind of has this anise, a little oh, bit of wow. light licorice. That is really good. Can you guys smell that out there? It's, it's a great ingredient. I'm just gonna kind of shave this really thin. Mm. Can I taste one? Continue to trim it a little bit. Shave nice and thin. I got my it's fingers. Got, it's got a tinge of black licorice. Exactly, yeah. Wow, that's interesting. And we're gonna go right into the mixing bowl with that. And now I have this thing, which is jicama. This is also pretty neat. I'm just gonna carve it around here a little bit. Can you eat the skin? No, you don't wanna eat the skin. Don't the skin, the skin has skin. been waxed. All right, I'm just gonna make some cuts here. Mm. Okay, so we don't even need all this. Huh, yeah, it tastes like, a, like an Asian pear almost. It a little does bit. kinda, huh? It's time to give this fish a flip. Flip it towards the cameraman. Towards the cameraman. Okay, beautiful, Ooh. that's what we want. Nice yeah. sear, golden brown. I'm just gonna cut this in nice, real thin strips here. And always make sure you look at the knife and the vegetable while you're cutting it. Never, never do this, you're never, just, You're never. showing off. This is going in. We can go ahead and add, I got a little bit of parsley. This is just hand-torn flat leaf parsley. And then our beautiful citrus segments, our Valencia orange. Can I try one of those just to make yeah, sure please, it's citrus? Yeah, please, please. I'm gonna save a couple back just for garnish. Oh yeah. And That's our beautiful okay. ruby red grapefruit going in. This is gonna give it a nice twang. This is gonna go underneath, underneath a little bed, a little seabed. A little bit of olive oil going in and a little bit of vinegar. This is uh, rice vinegar, very mild vinegar. So is that a good base for a sauce, olive oil and vinegar? Does that give you kind of, I know she used that quite a bit for just kind of a sauce. Yeah, you know, I like to keep things real simple. So it is, it is a good base. This is looking good. It is looking good. It is delicate. It is nice and delicate. I'm using my hands here today the best utensil ever. That's what the caveman had, right? That's right. That was the first cooking utensil. Make sure to have plenty of citrus around here. Okay, this is done. I'm just gonna lay this right on top of here. Mm. Okay, I'm just gonna you garnish with a little more fresh citrus and a little bit of the green stock from the fennel. Beautiful. And wow. that's it. Let's see what this thing has got. Mm. Mm. That's right. For this recipe and many, many more, go to howtodoflorida.com. Can I take him home with you? Yeah. This Florida cooking segment was brought to you by the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services.